Hi! In this video, I will show you how to use a DC to DC buck boost converter module and a computer power supply to charge a 12 volt battery. Since a computer power supply provides a maximum of 12 volts to 12.5 volts at its output terminals, we cannot use it directly to charge a 12 volt battery because any 12 volt dry or lead acid battery requires at least 13.5 volts to fully charge it. That is why we need a DC to DC boost converter module to step up the voltage of a computer power supply to at least 13.5 volts. Also, a computer power supply requires a jumper wire to turn it on, so if you don't know how to turn on a computer power supply, then you should check out my previous video where I have showed how to connect a jumper wire that will turn on a computer power supply so that we can use it for this purpose. For this tutorial, I will be using DC to DC buck boost converter module that comes with a part number HW140 but you can use any DC to DC boost converter that should fulfill the current requirements of your battery. Before connecting this module to the battery, we need to calibrate it to provide the right amount of output voltage which should charge the battery as per its requirements that are written on its case. I will use this multimeter to monitor its output voltage while I am calibrating it. Also, I will be using these connecting wires with crocodile connectors to connect the computer power supply to the input of this module. Let's connect another set of crocodile cables between the output of this module and the multimeter so that we can easily monitor its output voltage while we are calibrating the module with its potentiometer. Here I will be charging this 12 volt battery. Its specification indicates that it requires 13.6 to 13.8 input volts for standby use and 14.5 to 14.9 input volts if you are using this battery more often. Also, the initial current should be less than 2.7 amperes while charging this battery. Now, let's turn on the multimeter and power supply to calibrate the module for this battery. We can see a voltage difference that is shown on the module and the multimeter, that is why it is always good to use a multimeter to check the voltages instead of relying on the display of such modules. Right now, the output of this module is set to 4.2 volts and its input voltage can be seen by simply pressing the left push button that is available on this module which is nearly 12 volts from this computer power supply. We can also cut off the output voltage of this module by pressing the right push button on this module. I will use a small screwdriver to calibrate this module using its potentiometer that says CV which means constant voltage. Let's set the output voltage of this module to 13.8 volts. Now this module is calibrated and ready to charge the battery so let's disconnect this multimeter and turn off the output of this module to avoid any short circuit. Let's connect the output of this module to the battery and turn on the module output supply with the push button. You can see the module is showing 0.86 amperes of current which is being drawn by this battery. Also, let's confirm that this battery is getting charged using our multimeter. You can see that the voltage across the battery terminals is increasing which indicates that the battery is now getting charged. Enjoyed the tutorial, right? If yes, then do subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon so you'll know whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.